Okay guys, welcome to day six of summer school. Let's get rolling on the quick writes. Uh, see if there's any questions and you guys can continue your courseware. Uh, today is an important day as the sixth day, six out of 24, we are exactly a quarter of the way into it. So I might as well make that change right here on your uh, quick write for today. You should have started after five days, gotten to 20%. And normally it's been 5% every day, but uh, we would, at the end of it, we would end up with 4% extra. So today is going to be a clean 5%. We're going to be at 25%. Um, hopefully you guys are on pace and you get there. Uh, another big thing, I've told you that I am going to lock all of these previous quick writes. You won't be able to get points anymore. So go through, go to the score sheet and look at your score and see which points you're missing. If you have a bunch of point fours or point fives, it's very likely that you didn't check out. You got to just just check out. Put in a timestamp. Put in your percentage for that day that you thought you had, um, but you need those points. After today, it's going to lock every day, and you won't be able to get those points back. And these are these are the easy points. I know that anybody who's been in my class before, they probably are aware of it. Uh, you know, they, they understand how much this technology stuff can impact the grade, and it's it's really easy if you just stay on top of it. But speaking of that, let me look at your responses from yesterday. Uh, first off, I want to know, are you able to watch the videos? I see many people were unable to do the PC spec activity, which was shown in the video. Watch the video, get the easy points. So I want to know if you guys are watching the videos. The video was not available for me. Well, they're all on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some different methods to get there. Uh, they're also being posted on Schoology. Uh, if you can't access a resource, you got to let me know. Uh, I know once you actually see this video, it'll be easy. Uh, and the people that are or already watching the videos, if you could help out your your peers. Um, but let's go. It didn't let me. Ooh. Okay. I couldn't do the link. It would let me. I followed the video. Mm, that's not good that you guys aren't able to access the links and that could be because you're on Chromebooks from um, from the school and those do block some activity they do block YouTube unless it's been an authorized video and because I'm posting these quickly they're not immediately authorized uh, yes I'm able to watch videos yes I'm able to watch videos I'm able to watch videos yes uh, Barbara was not able to I wasn't able to yes I was I was I've watched all of them. I'll go back to get points. Cool. I was able to watch. Okay. Cool. I was not. I was not. I was not. I was able. I was able. Okay. So, uh, in addition to being available, whoops. In addition to being available through YouTube, uh, which might be blocked by the school network, I've also put them into the daily instructional logs. And if you go to say this it has an embedded version it's not the highest quality it's going to be a little bit lower quality than YouTube but it'll work so that should be an easy way hopefully you'll you're able to see that in the daily instructional logs folder uh, let's check for yesterday and can be I am I was able to yes but I couldn't find the CPU the RAM only know that Okay, only knowing the computer is I'm using is a Chromebook. Okay, so if you go to the settings for the Chromebook, you can scroll down and get all that information. It, it seems pretty hard. I can see the videos any problems. I just search for DX. Okay, sweet. I was able to watch videos. I was able to watch. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's look at the poundage. How many pounds have you gained? How many uh, have you gained or lost in weight since quarantine? How many pains? pounds have you gained or lost? So I said that I gained 10. Uh, Alvaro gained 5. Edgar gained about 5. Hillary gained about 4. Angelica gained 7. Andrea lost a bunch. That's awesome. That's good. You might be one of the few people that has the self-control. Being at home means I'm snacking more often, and that's probably what's getting me. Uh, Andrew lost a little bit. Michelle uh, gained a little bit. We're, we're all kind of in the same range. Okay, good. I haven't gained any weight. You know, Enrique, I'm going to give you that point. I'm going to say zero right there so that's a zero uh you haven't gained or lost that's a just a, that's that's good you're in equilibrium 
Eileen lost 10 pounds. Holy smokes. I lost about 7. I'm going to be, I'm going to fix this one as well and make that a negative 7 so you get your point. Remember, if it's a number type question, you must put in a number. If it's red, if it's popping up red, you're not getting that point. So you want to make sure you got that. People, minus 18 pounds. Holy smokes. Okay. So how many calories does that represent? Remember, that's about 3,000 calories per. So if you do 5 times Oh, you did the 3,500 calories. That's fine as well. You guys can do that. Uh, five, that'd be 4,000. That's that's off. So what you would want to do is, if you use a formula, you could say equals. You go to the column that has this, and you multiply it by. It's 3,000 calories per gram of just lean body mass or total body mass. I guess you could say it's 3,500 per pound of fat, but you don't lose just fat. I'm kind of curious as the whole thing, and then you multiply that. So 4 times 3,000 should be uh, 12,000. So you take this, you multiply that by 3,000, so on and so forth. OK. Mm, these would be incorrect, incorrect. You should fix those. These are also incorrect. Maybe we'll, we'll do a little bit more work on that. We'll discuss some of the multiplication here, because it's just a quick multiplication. You just have to multiply that. Now from here. You just have to divide it by two by two thousand, and this is correct. So we've got we've got a lot of that correct. Uh, Enrique, if you were to try to burn off ten thousand calories at two thousand calories per day, that would be a divided by two thousand. That'll give you five days. Five days, not three days. Five days it takes longer to lose that weight than you think. Uh, and let's check out. Summer school period two. Negative 20. Holy smokes, Denise. That seems impossible. You know why I know that's impossible? Because you are already uh, a pretty trim person. I can't imagine you losing 20 pounds. I think that would be physiologically impossible. But maybe you have the proof to back it up. If you have the numbers, I can't argue with that. You got to have the, the evidence. Have some evidence. Uh, okay, minus 12, minus 10, minus 8. Okay, perfect, good. Now again, Vanessa, you multiply that by 3,000, so negative 2 times 3,000. Okay, 17 times 3,000, that's right, Miguel. Okay, 5, good, good, good. Okay, I that is awfully suspect. 20 pounds lost. Shoot. Suzette, my wife had a baby and didn't even lose <laughs> much between the baby and the placenta. So that's very, very impressive if you have lost that. Um, go ahead and finish out the rest of these, though. These are easy points, guys. Don't want to lose those. Uh, and again, these are all going to be locking at the end of today. So make sure that you have everything done because then we're just going to be doing it on a daily basis. Uh, let's talk about today. Besides the 20 to 25%, let's change that for chemistry B as well. Besides that, we also uh, have a few little tech activities. Really what I'm trying to do with this quick write is get you guys accustomed to technology uh, and hopefully help you if you are hitting any roadblocks from using Edgenuity. So, uh, one of the important things you got to have is you have to have internet. We had a, a teacher that was having internet issues, and my recommendation is to always check first with a speed test. So I had her go to speedtest.net and run a speed test. So I'm going to run mine right now. Let's see what we get. It'll connect. It'll tell you what your internet is, and it'll tell you what your IP address is. Uh, I might ask for that, but for right now, let's just see what our speed test is and bizarrely it's still connecting it's taking a while come on now speed test this might indicate a problem whoa -oh. whoa -oh. you know what in that case let's try a speed test through Google this should be this should suffice if speed test dot net is not working maybe there's something else that's blocking us from getting there. Maybe speedtest.net is having some issues. Either way, I just want to get a rough speed count. So we've got two different values. We have a download and an upload speed. Now, 
The download is really what's important for you guys because you're just consuming material from me. You're not necessarily producing something. You're not uploading too much. So the upload doesn't matter too much, uh, but it's still good. You still want this value to be somewhat higher. So um, I'm going to put in, so let's see, number. This first one is a number. What is your speed from, oh, I should say, what is your download speed from speedtest.net? So in my case, mine was 54.9 megabits. And let's make this, so we all are talking about the same thing. Megabits, not megabytes, 54.3, was, oh, 54.9 was mine. And then similarly, what is your upload speed from speedtest.net? And also megabits per second. Let's make this, for me it was 12.0 might drop that point O. If it drops the point, um, that's just considering it a significant figure, but you could also still keep that uh, decimal point by clicking that button up there to increase the decimal spots. Um, so those are some easy ones for the people that even haven't been watching the videos, but I need to make sure people are watching the videos. I need you guys to watch the daily videos to stay on track. You can watch them at YouTube or on YouTube. Google Brian teaches YouTube. Let's verify that. If I type in Brian teaches YouTube, ah, first one pops up. And it is my channel that has all of the days and all of the videos. So if you just watch that, you should be good. Unfortunately, yesterday, only I only have six views. That means that a lot of students aren't doing what they need to be doing. They're not watching these. So I got to double check and make sure that they are using, you are using these. Um, let's do, what is your secret number? Ah, okay, so what the heck is the secret number? What's that about? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide some of these columns. These columns are showing all of the points that you would get. I'm going to make a conditional statement. I'm going to say if this is equal to this, then you get one point. Otherwise, you get zero points. Well, that's assuming if aw6 is equal, if it's blank, then it's gonna be blank. Otherwise, then I have another conditional statement that says that if you do that. Okay, so that's that's programming. It's a lot of like if and then statements. And you have to know the syntax. What that's saying is that if this column is blank, which is just the this this value right here, then leave that value blank. However, if not, then you do another statement. You say, hey, if, that is equal to that, then give them one point, otherwise zero points. So now if I say, let's make our number, I'm gonna put in a, I'll, I'll copy this all the way down. This is one of the beautiful things about spreadsheets is I've copied that formula all the way down and it just adjusts the number. And I'm going to make this our secret number. Let's say this is five and this is five. If I put in the number five, sweet, you get the point. If not, oof. No, you don't get the points. So you got to know that secret value. So how am I going to get those? Let's go to RNG. Let's do a random number generator. And let's create a bunch of values. Let's see if this works for us. Uh, da, 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 da. Generate one max. Let's see create a matrix of RNG values. Mm 
Mm. I've got to find a good generator. I want to generate more than one. RNG sequence. Let's see if we can. Ah, there we go. A sequence generator. Smallest value one, largest value one in one column. The length of the sequence cannot be greater. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We'll grab the sequence of numbers. I think I need one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's just grab a bunch and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to grab some. I'm going to put this right in there. Do, 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 do. Cool, I got pretty close. I'll get rid of those. Now, you have to put in this secret value. So if you're Alvaro, if you're watching the video, you put in 42, you get your point. If you're Jasmine, you put in eight, you get your point. If you don't put in that value, you're not gonna get the point. Ha ha, and I'm gonna hide that. Let's do the exact same thing for these guys for chemistry B. Uh, let's see, chemistry A. I'll give you what is your quick rate value? And I believe that was 54.9 or 53.9? 54.9, it was 54.9. And. What is your upload speed? And that's a number. And this one, we don't need as many random numbers. In fact, I'm just gonna use the same sequence. And I know that we don't need as many because we don't have as many students. Let's do that. Let's clean all of this up. And I'm showing you guys sort of how the back end works. So you can see how this class operates. I'm going to copy this formula over. Uh oh. Paste. Let's delete that. Paste formula only. The formula is not working. So I'll just do another conditional statement. If this is equal to nothing and leave it blank. Otherwise, if this is equal to AU6, you get one point, otherwise you get zero points. Nest that correctly. Paste these across the way. Let's test it out. If he puts in 42, you get the point. Cool. Let's hide that so you guys can't access it. Hide this, copy that over, and we're good to go. Okay, that should be good there. Okay, so we're gonna see who's watching the videos. Uh, finally, last one is, I want to know if you've got any questions. What questions do you have about the course material on Edgenuity? Have you had any difficulties? How can I? Uh, do you need any other help from me? at the moment. Okay, just again, checking in, make sure that you guys are good. Let's get that number up to 25% today. And we will be, every will, everyone will be happy. Everyone's grade will be happy. I'll be happy. The administrators will be happy. Everyone will be happy. So let's get that grade up. Let's make sure all this is put in. Watch the video. I'm going to be posting it. Let's see. You guys you can watch them on Google. Okay, what is your secret number? Uh, you can watch them on YouTube.
or through Schoology. Make that adjustment. There we go. Everything looking good. Cool. Okay, if you guys have any problems, let me know. Uh, otherwise, that wraps up day six. You guys are doing well. See you tomorrow.